Welcome back, Safarians, to Day 3 of the Jungle Book Week. Today I am focusing on Rudyard Kipling, the author of the classic novel that started it all, The Jungle Book. Joseph Rudyard Kipling was born in Bombay, India on December 30, 1865, to Alice Kipling and John Lockwood Kipling. He spent nearly a decade in British India writing for several newspapers. When he moved to London, he had several stories accepted by several magazines. The first novel he published was called The Light That Failed. As he grew into adulthood, Mr. Kipling got married to a woman named Carrie. They settled down in a cottage in Vermont after they found out that their bank had failed in Japan. As they lived in this cottage, the idea for the Jungle Book came to Mr. Kipling. He said of his inspiration for it, Workroom in the Bliss Cottage was seven feet by eight, and from December to April the snow lay level with its window sill. It chanced that I had written a tale about Indian forestry work which included a boy who had been brought up by wolves. In the stillness and suspense of the winter of 92, some memory of the Masonic lines of my childhood's magazine and a phrase in Haggard's Knot of the Lily combined with the echo of this tale. After blocking out the main idea in my head, the pen took charge and I watched it begin to write stories about Mowgli and animals, which later grew into the two jungle books. Although he is now known mostly for his published The Jungle Book novels, he also penned short stories such as The Man Who Would Be King and the famous poem Gunga Den. So there you have our spotlight of Rudyard Kibbling, the author of the beloved classic The Jungle Book. I can't wait to see his influence in story writing come to life as we witness John Favreau's live action adaptation which hits theaters this Friday. If you learned something new, please give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe. I'll see you tomorrow with a brand new video. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.